Hello and welcome to Summer Sparking Good Time. So today is orientation for Diamond Painting Summer School. So we're going to go over the syllabus and our course materials. And this will be the first video. And you'll see how I'm setting this up as we go along, okay? So this syllabus and any other materials that I um, feel like we need will be available in my OneDrive and the link will be in the description below. Um, it will allow you to have viewable access to everything. Um, so you can click links and all that good stuff. So the courses will be uploaded um, on Summer Sparking Good Time YouTube channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting on June 20th through July 25th. Submissions of completed work by participants who want to be featured in the graduation ceremony, also known as our finish parade, will be due by July 27th. Graduation ceremony will be uploaded on July 31st. Course materials that I'm going to be using for demonstration purposes. Starting with the budget kit, we are do, going to be looking and working on this little pretty cow. I call this flowery calf. And um, this is from W-U-S-A-R-P-L-Y. I got this in a four pack on Amazon. It uh, says it's a 30 by 40 centimeter. Um, that is typically the actual canvas size is 30 by 40, but the actual drill field, which we'll be going over that step later, um, so the actual part you're putting drills on canvas is 25 by 35. Normally, when you are buying a budget kit, whatever they say your dimensions are, like this is 30 by 40, you can just take it to the bank. It's going to be 5 centimeters smaller than that, um, roughly. So, like, if it says 30 by 40, you're looking more like a 25 by 35. If they say it's a 40 by 60, it's going to be a 35 by 55. That is your best guesstimate. <laughs> so, this is the one we're going to be working on that. It comes with the, what people sometimes refer to as a generic toolkit. So basically it comes with a boat, a boat. Yes, it's a boat or a tray. <laughs> they call it both things. A pad of wax and the very, very simple um, diamond painting pen. They're normally pink, not sparkly. Um, they tend to be fairly plain and very thin. You normally don't get a squishy with the, um, budget kits. So that's just our basic generic kit. It comes with that. It's also going to come with your drills. So can I get these open? Um, maybe, maybe not. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. This kit is round drills. It does have 25 colors. Okay. Um, okay. Let's do it this way so you can actually see what we got. So you have a gray, is it 415? It's not telling me the color number. So it does not give the DMCs on this. Okay, so we have a gray, a black, a darker red, a peachy color, um, a dark blue, um, a different blue, yet another blue, brown, dark green, another brown, an orangish autumny brown, like a rust, a lighter version of that, more orange ish color, peach, very pretty teal, a very pretty like jaded green. Okay, so that's the first train. Then we have this one sitting by itself. There's another brown, like a lighter brown. And then we have this pretty. Like dark salmon. This is the the brown that's so dark it's almost black, but it's not really pretty uh, beigey. I don't know, like a mocha. Um. Then this is like a a grayish, <laughs> a purple, more brown, brown, and a white. Okay, those are the colors. Let me move you down real quick, and we'll look at the rest of this kit. 
Okay, on this canvas, we do have the legend in the bottom right and the top left. There is not a photo above this portion, but it does have the DMC on the actual legend, just not on the bags from what I'm seeing. Um, so, um, this will be our symbols. It is alphanumeric. When I say it's alphanumeric, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, A, C, D, E, F, H, J, K, L, N, R, S, T, U, X, Y, and Z. No symbols. These kits are fairly easy to uh, kit up with um, if you uh, need to draw your own. Okay? Sticky is good. The drill fill, the, like the quality of the symbols, everything it looks really, really clear. I want to see, uh, looking over here at these. Okay. The white symbols on the uh, darker background, I'm still not seeing any problems uh, being able to make those out. Those all look good to me. I'm not seeing any problems at all on this drill field. It, nope, it looks very good. To, okay, hold on. What's we got going on in this flower? No, those are ends and threes. We're good. We're good. Everything looks really good. So there's that. I love his little tongue out right there, y'all. So, hold on one second. Okay, so we have measured it. Like I said, there is a legend with the picture, which is commonly known as a schematic, up here on the top left. It has the item number and description here as well. The name of the company, directions across the bottom, and another legend here. This does not come with an inventory sheet, nor did it come with a uh, sticker sheet. So we're going to be making our own. That's in a later course, uh, especially not in the orientation video. So that is our first material, the budget kit. We're calling her flowery calf. Hold on one second. Okay, our second course material is a partial kit. This is Midnight Cat from Diamond Dots. The canvas size is a 35 by 43 centimeter. The design size is a 27.9 by 35.5 centimeter. It's around rails and 11 colors. Let's get this baby unboxed. You can normally find Diamond Dots, I think, at like Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's. They're, um, and I did include the link in the syllabus and for this kit available on Amazon. Um, I don't think it was like maybe like $13, $14. It wasn't that much. So inside, you're going to find your canvas in a, uh, a dust bag. Okay. Oh, no, nope, don't, don't hold on to me. Okay. Okay. Now, this, Diamond Dots, their canvas are a lot stiffer than some of the other premium kits you're looking at. Um, about on par with a lot of the budget companies, like this one. They're, they're very, very similar uh, on the canvases. They're like the, more like what you'd see on a stretch canvas or like what a painter would use. Okay. Now, I want y'all to say, it, th this looks like it's wrinkles, but this is a poured glue canvas. These are not wrinkles. This is tension in the plastic cover, and I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that real quick. Just gonna smooth that on right on out. Okay. And see, it's not like rivers or anything like that. It was just too much tension. So, come on, get that air bubble out. So, on a partial, when they're discussing a partial, what that means is you're not going to be diamond painting the entire. It's only a part of it. So on this one, you're only doing the actual cat. You see where the sticky is? Right here, 
this is not sticky. There's no adhesive here. There's nothing that you're going to adhere here. Nothing here. So the entire perimeter. So this is a black cat on a black background, but we are only going to be doing the actual cat itself. This only has 11 colors. This kit also comes with, um, their instructions are like insane, guys. Like, how do I open this all the way up? Like, the instructions are bigger than the canvas. <laughs> Like, am I upside down? What am I doing here? Okay. And it's in all kinds of different languages. Um, English is over here. <laughs> so, but, but the, 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 the destructions are, uh, that, that's a lot. That's a lot of, that's a lot. Okay. You're also going to get this little portion that has your drills in your toolkit. I can get it open. Okay, so this is the Diamond Dots toolkit. It's slightly different than the budget toolkit. So let's go over that. Okay. So you're also going to get a boat or a tray, but this one's going to have a spout that makes it easier to pour your drills back into the um, baggies or drill containers. This one's going to give you some baggies to store your leftover drills or uh, kit up in. You're going to get a pin. This one is sparkly. It does have the single tip brass blazer. It comes with a straightener and a what appears to be a seven wide multi placer. Okay, and you get a squishy to just add to your pen. I can I can never get these on, especially if I'm on a video and I'm recording. It says no, and you just put these on your pen to make it more comfortable to use these pens. So it comes with everything you need to do the diamond painting. Maybe not everything you want, but everything you need. And it does come with this little caddy that is branded with a plate. Oh. Yep, a plated diamond, a diamond of a uh, pink wax. Okay, so that is what is included in this diamond dots toolkit for this partial. Okay, you're also going to get your drills. Now, diamond dots does not use the DMC system; they have their own numbering system. So, but this is going to have this goldenrod yellow, a lighter goldenrod yellow, a white, a black, a very dark gray, medium gray. A lighter gray, a darkest brown, almost black, a brown, an even lighter brown, and another yellow. This is more like a butter yellow and a hitchhiker. So there's that. Let's get closer to the canvas. Okay, now that we're closer down here, you're going to see that on this kit, the edges are scalloped. They have these little poked holes uh, around. That helps keep your kit from fraying. You normally don't find that on a lot of the budget companies. It has our legends right here and the Diamond Dots uh, brand and logo th here. It gives you your information about the kit um, along this bottom. So it's DD5.001 Midnight Cat. The design size. Um, this image is apparently um, from Svetlana Petrova from dreamstime.com. Um, and it tells you all your details there. Then if you want to go, you can see up here on the top left, it also has that legend again. Okay, now, looking at the drill field, it looks very, very simple. Oh, let's go over the drills, the, the symbols. This is a symbol only kit. There is no alpha, there is no numeric. So we have the T, the plus, the slash, the uh, hollow circle, the push pin, the L, the square, the X, the up arrow, the hyphen, and the carrot. Okay. We were talking about how this is not sticky because we're not putting drills here. The sticky is here. Okay. Drill field is looking pretty clear. I'm not seeing anything that's making me go, oh, dear Lord, I'm not going to see that. 
It looks great, looks great, looks great. It looks like it'll be a very quick kit to uh, do up. Hold on one second. And next up for materials that we're going to be using through this course um, is the round drill canvas, and we're using Ray by Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club. On the Diamond Art Club box, they do denote their uh, drill shape by putting either a, a circle or a square here above the image, and that tells you what your drill shape is going to be inside. One second, I forgot my scissors. Okay, scissors retrieved. Let's get this bad boy unboxed. This isn't going to be like a normal unboxing. This is more tutorial. I have never diamond painted before, or I'm so new to diamond painting. Oh, and some are throwing things. Um, just basically a complete overview and we'll go over with uh what all kind of courses or lessons they'll be in the course um, after we get through with the course materials excuse me ma'am why does this never want to open for me Ugh. okay i like the fact that the boxes you know are very sturdy but man Okay, so in your Diamond Art Club box, you're going to get this small sticker. A lot of people use this sticker in their log books, or they will put it on the bottom of their box, like so. So if they're storing them in that direction, they can see them on a shelf. That's the first thing. The Diamond Art Toolkit, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of bougie. It's a little fancier than what we've been seeing in the other two. Okay. Hey y'all. Give me the stuff. Give me the stuff. That's it. So you're going to get a bag of baggies and there's quite a few baggies in here. Um, I'm starting to think that someday I done messed my nail up that they're going to find my uh, little box of baggies and think I was a drug addict. There's a lot of baggies. Okay. You're going to get your little uh white tray it's going to have a stopper makes it a little nicer so then you have the spout where you can actually pour your drills out easy but you can put the spout in or the spout the stopper in while you're shaking it and you're moving it around your drills ain't falling out and getting all over the place it happens trust me i've done it i have done it okay get back in the box the bag whatever okay you're going to get a squishy like you've seen in the other kits this one is like a burgundy maroonish beautiful and a squishy while the color of your pen does vary from kit to kit with diamond art club the squishy normally does match the pen i don't think i've ever gotten a kit where it doesn't but i still can never get these dang things on thank you oh wait we did i did it guys i got it on look give me go look give me go okay so you're gonna get your pen like we discussed and that's how you're gonna apply the drills or the diamonds or the dots or the jewels or the whatever you want to call them now, it's also going to come with a 4 and 7 multi-placer. And there's going to be um, a part, I think, when we get to shop where we go over how to multi-place. This is a 4. This is a 7. These are the thin plastic ones. These are my actual favorites. So, we'll set those right there so I can keep them handy. You're going to need a heart-shaped caddy of wax. Okay, and inside there, there's two plates of wax. Once again, the wax does have this. Come, come on out. A plastic cover keeping it all nice and neat you do really need to remove that plastic cover um, to access the wax but like I said we'll go over that in shop course or class okay you're also going to get a cover minder okay we're going to go over cover minders when we get to electives but they come with them they're super cute this is just a cute little pink crystal bear and then you're going to get a roll of washi this is going to be random you never know what design you're going to get and the designs are all over the place Okay, so that's the tool kit. Okay, Diamond Art Club, their kits do come in a uh, dust cover. Oh, I got that one open so easy. Go me. I normally rip those shreds or have to get the skizzers out. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, so inside your kit rolled up, you're going to get your thank you booklet with a message from Angie, the founder. You're going to have what's included in your kit, tips and tricks, a thank you code, um, QR codes to take you to a step-by-step uh, -step video, a QR code to get to the VIP Facebook group, 
and step-by-step -step instructions. On the back here, there's QR codes for both uh, Android and um, Apple for the uh, Diamond Art Club app. Okay, you're also going to get a very nice sticker sheet that has individually cut label stickers and um, a picture of your uh, image on all the information you need about the image, the artist, the name of the piece, the diamond shapes around, the size, and then a place for you to write your start and end date. Okay. Let's look at the drills real quick. We're doing this so different than my normal stuff, but this is not just an unboxing. This is a, let's see what we got for the course materials. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four bags of 310, 3713, 743, 301, 761, 131. This is an AB. That's important. Go over that later. 760, 321, 498, 3853, 907, 666, Devil Red, 128. This is another one of our ABs. 744, 300, 3746, 3708. Okay. We have 797, 3854, 155, 135. This is an AB. 741, 3842, 740, 699, 798. Did I just say 798? Maybe not. 798, 340, 125. This is the fourth AB. 3865, 992, 3706, 830, 898, 341, 772, 156, 3325, 3712, 333, 3814, 947, and 906. Those are the colors for that kit. Go with that. Alright. Now, on the Diamond Art Club and a lot of the premium uh, companies, you're going to have what they call like a soft lint um, backing to your canvas. It's going to be soft and velvety and, and not rough if that makes sense. I'm just rubbing this back so it'll lay down for me fast. But it is a self-flattening canvas just for the record. So as you feel as you hear let me do it by my microphone. See how it's okay now I want you to hear me do the same thing for this one. This is stiffer. Stiffer yet. Okay? So on our Diamond Art Club canvas. Oh my god, she's so pretty. I hadn't opened her yet. Oh, her so lovely. It's branded at the top. It says, uh, do what makes you sparkle. Diamond Art Club. We have our legend up here on the top left. We have our legend on the bottom right. We have a um, picture of the image and the information. Um, it's a 17 by 24 inch or a 43 by 61 centimeter Hannah Lind. Uh, kit. They have their uh, socials here and their guarantee on the bottom right. So, I'm going to take a closer real quick. Oh, once again, scalloped and the poked edges, so it should not be fraying for you guys, okay? Hold on, let's go closer. Okay, Diamond Art Club uses a legend that is a combination of both alpha, numeric, and symbols. So, as you see that we're going down here, one, two, three, four, five left arrow seven eight white dot black background lowercase a capital t capital r capital s capital n capital k capital c capital p capital a this swiggy <laughs> equals um the indent symbol uh carrot backslash u capital u double dot the l it's not really an l it's like a it's an l it's kind of an l you know what i mean capital j V, F, X, 0, or O, lowercase n, um, I call this the top right corner, um, hyphen, capital E, um, I call that the little black dot, Y, H, uh, Minecraft Steve is what I call this guy, um, the plus symbol, percent, and greater than. So, combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Okay, let's look at our sticky 
Sticky's good. Sticky, sticky's good. Now let's look at our drill field and see the quality of the symbols printed on the canvas. This is crystal clear, as you can see. As you can see. Beautifully crystal clear. And this is going to be so fun. Look at all these colors back here. I just have to show y'all. Look at that. I love that. Oh, love it. Okay. So, drill field looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Super excited. The Hannah Lynn. Look at that face. And her cute. So, hold on. Let me take us back up. Okay. So, a quick overview of this canvas. Isn't she pretty? Oh, she's a mermaid in case you didn't notice that. See the scales come off her belly. Mm-hmm. Me excited. Me excited. So, I love her so much. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look, an excuse to do another mermaid. <laughs> okay. So, now the last piece of our puzzle for um, the course materials is Hedgehog by Marilyn Casanova. Is it Casanova? Casanova, yeah. From Diamond Art Club, this is a square drill canvas. It is a 16 by 16 inch or 41 by 41 centimeter. Square drills, as denoted by the square right here. Let's get this boy open and let you guys have a quick closer look. <clears throat> okay. Like we said before, you're going to get the little sticker um, you can put on the logbook on your uh, box anywhere you want. It's your sticker. Do what you want with it. The toolkit, I'm not going to go completely over it. We're just going to pull out the cover reminder for this one. It's just this round circle. Pretty. And the washi. Oh, I am going to pull out the toolkit. It's a different type. And I throw things. So, everything out of there? Yeah. So, we have a bright yellow. I have not gotten this color before. Uh, pen and squishy. See, can't get it on. You're also going to get a set of branded tweezers. These are super, super sharp. We call them murder tweezers at my house. It comes with a cover. I strongly suggest you leave it on. I have stabbed myself more times than I care to admit and have had to get band-aids. And one time, like, I was worried I was going to, like, it was bad. It was not good. Okay. Bag of baggies we talked about. Heart caddy of the wax. Multi-placers we discussed. This is a different type of tray. These and the white ones are, you can find back and forth. It's basically the same thing. A lot of people just didn't like the, the clear sparkle. So they went back to the white so you could see your drills in the tray. And then another thing of washi. Oh, that's pretty. Just a little like floral on a back, black background. So there's that bad boy. Ooh, this, I'm telling you, unboxing four kits is a lot. And we're not even to the course outline. Good night. So, let me just get on my kit. I didn't realize this was a partial. And maybe we won't be doing black cat. This is a squared off partial. We probably will be doing all of them. So, oh, she's so cute. This is a partial. I didn't realize it was a partial. Um, did the box denote partial? No, it says diamond shape. Oh, so I ain't mad at it. Because I was a little worried about getting all these done in six weeks, plus my other stuff. We ain't mad at it. Okay. So, it's this cute little hedgehog sitting in a teacup. Totally cute. Once again, do what makes you sparkle. Diamond Art Club, the branding up here on the top. Legend on the top left. Legend on the bottom right. Um, information about your kit in the bottom left. Their socials on the middle of the bottom. And their guarantee on the bottom right. Okay. Perforated uh, or... 
hole edges and um, scalloped edges as well. So your uh, canvas should not be fraying. I forgot this part. Once again, same little thank you kit comes in every single one of them. Sticker sheet. We always get this. We love this. Let's look at our colors. These colors are so pretty. So we have a 992 and a 993. 3837, 144, that would be AAB. 415, my birthday, 504, no, 604, 603, 600, 3814, 605, 318, 754, 938, 434, 738, 433, 209, 783, 126. That would be an AB. 310, very small 310. Loving that. 644, 33, 48. 435, Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Let's, let's move over here. Okay, so we've gone over this. Let's get closer. Look at the legend. Look at the drill field. Hold on. Okay, once again, alphanumeric and symbols. So we have one, two, three, hyphen, backslash, little dot. This is always the 310 symbol, and I just call it the 310 symbol in my head now. This is a top left uh, triangle, pound, the squish. The left arrow, A, C, S, E. I call this the evil robot. My uh, bestie calls this the TP. Um, hourglass, uh, double dot, seven, down arrow, uh, indent, greater than, plus, J, push pin. I don't know. This is the woo woo, is what I call it. Equals P, uh, dot in a, uh, what did Trini call this? Like the anti Luigi? Um, percent sign. 9 F U L Minecraft Steve. Um, is that the anti Luigi? That's the anti Luigi. What's that then? I don't know what we called that, but then she's calling this anti Luigi K V H Y X and um, a white bottom right uh, triangle. Okay, so different types of symbols, different companies. It's it's a, it, it's just a thing. So here is. This part right here, we are not going to be diamond painting it. So there's only adhesive once we get over here. Now let's check. Oh, check the sticky. Sticky are real good. Okay, let's look at our symbol quality on the drill field. Everything looks clear. Really didn't expect it not to be. Charming Art Club It's normally got a beautiful, beautiful drill field. And... Looking good. Look at his little face. We used to have a hedgehog, hedgehog named Walter. And he was grumpy. He was named after uh, Walter from uh, Jeff Dunham's um, stand-up little, what is that, ventriloquism? And you know, Walter's a grumpy old man. There was a reason we named him Walter. Okay, so those are the materials that we're going to be working on as I uh, take you through things and we're demonstrating what's going on. Oh, so page one of the syllabus done. Now we're going to go over the course schedule. I think I should take you closer. Hold on. Okay. So the first actual course after this uh, orientation is going to be our terminology. And that's learning the acronyms and lingo associated with diamond painting. Number two would be anatomy. And then we're going to go over the parts of a diamond painting kit, the parts of the canvas, etc. Number three, economics. Range of kits available from budget to premium their pricing of goods and shipping, and where you can get those, and I will be showcasing a few companies in different price ranges. Four, art history, understanding public domain, licensed and stolen artwork, how to do a reverse image, uh, how to do a reverse image search, and why any of this matters. Uh, number five is chemistry, what are drills made of and how are they made? 
the different types of adhesives, how to clean your uh, canvas in case of emergency, how to fix a canvas that has faulty adhesive. Six, math. Why size matters both in canvas size and drill size. Seven, shop. How to diamond paint step by step from kitting up to placing the last drill. Loading your pen, multi-placing, trays, canvas prep. We go over it all. Eight, electives. Premium accessories such as pens, trays, wax, putty, and washi. Nine, journalism. What a logbook and or journal are, options available, and discussing if you truly need one. Ten, graphic design. How to use print up. Uh, Ten, graphic design. How to use paint and Canva to convert inventory sheets and or legends into sticker sheets. Eleven, course review. Demonstration, materials, finishes, and reviews. So everything that I showed you today as an unboxing on that video, you'll see as a completion if all goes well. Okay. On finals, that would be your submission deadline to enter your finish in the graduation ceremony. 13, graduation ceremony. Um, that would be the viewer submitted finish parade. So, finals information. All viewer finishes should be emailed to summersparkinggoodtime at gmail.com by midnight pacific on July 27, 2023. No requirement on subject, company, size, or completion date. So if this is something like your first finish ever, or if this is your favorite finish ever, or this is something you just did, I don't care. Send it away if this is what you want to see on your graduation whip parade, or graduation finish parade. Okay? The channel does reserve the right to not present copyrighted material that could negatively impact my channel. Uh, I really don't want a copyright strike. It's not a good time. Please include the name of the kit artist if applicable, the company you got the kit from, and the name you want to be addressed by in the ceremony. So if you want to go by your YouTube channel name or an alias because you don't want your real name out there on the YouTube land, that's fine. Just tell me what you want to be um, addressed by for the uh, finish parade. The graduation ceremony, I will be uploading the video to YouTube on July 31st, 2023 with all of your finished uh, pieces you want to be spotlight, showcased, highlighted, on display for the world to see. Okay, so that is the course outline, the course schedule, our materials. This is what we're doing. And um, I hope you all uh, join me for it. Like I said, um, this video is going up. I think I have the announcement video going up the 11th. This one going up the 15th, and then we start going boom, 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 Tuesday, Thursdays. So two videos a week. Look for the uh, palm tree beach background with the blackboard uh, sign on front. The blackboard will have which lesson it is numbered one through yada, and we'll go from there. I really hope you join me, um, and I really hope you submit your final so we can do it with a beautiful finish parade with lots of people's stuff. Um. I appreciate everybody for uh, watching this video and uh, thank you in advance for your participation and uh, thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. We're at 220 as of today. That means 30 more people and we get a giveaway and I'm super excited about that. Um, go ahead and hit the like button on your way out if you wouldn't mind. I'd super, super appreciate it and until next time, I love you. Bye-bye.